How's it going everyone? Dry FIFA here. Welcome back to episode number 8 of my WCC Season 3. Now picking up where we left off in the last episode, uh, coming off of course that magnificent win against AC Roma, we'll be facing off against Barcelona in the semi-final. This is a must win because we have no other chance to try and make up. If we lose, we're out and they make it to the final and we need to make it so we need to make sure we get a win. Let's go. How's it going everyone? Welcome to today's game which is going to be of course Barcelona versus Manchester United we are playing at the Camp Nou so it should be an interesting one to see how this one goes down now as you can see the next game is going to be of course PSG versus Bayern that should be an interesting one and the players now are coming out on the field and look at the stadium absolutely buzzing you can see the Manchester United players there too as well uh, should be really not too intimidated for this one but you just never know sometimes you know the atmosphere of some of these stadiums can definitely get to you and of course uh, I don't think it will be any different when you talk about of course the Camp Nou the supporters there look at the stadium the stadium is absolutely huge and of course uh, not too much of the Manchester United fans there as you can see to your right the top not too much but as you can see there Barcelona going with a 4-3-3 formation the three amigos up front and of course Biscuit as you can see there uh, is going to be sitting in front of the defense uh, should be interesting to see all Manchester United go about breaking them down, uh, especially uh, since they have such pacey players up front. But nevertheless, Manchester United players are definitely going to have the work cut off for them, especially the back line. And they're going with the same formation, that 5-3-2 formation, Falke and Van Persie up front with Di Maria in the middle, Blint and Falke and uh, Fellaini, as you can see, they're sitting, of course, in front of the defense. Uh, they're definitely going to need the help, that's for sure, in the defense with all these pacey players and wingers uh, Barcelona definitely have. So... They definitely keep an eye on the three amigos or else they can definitely cut them open. And I'm sure Barcelona would definitely be looking to do exactly that. All right. Barcelona definitely up for this one so far. Pushing forward quite well. Suarez on the ball here. Nice one into Neymar. And Neymar with a strike. There's block and it's Lionel Messi. But he puts it over the bar. Over the crossbar. Really should have did better there. I guess you probably would have bet your money. That he would have scored, unfortunately, for Nate. Manchester United on the ball. Daily blend. Dictating the play a little bit. And he's going to go back to, of course, David De Gea. You can see Barcelona are definitely closing him down in midfield. So, they had no choice there. Now they're going to build again. Take their time building up this one. Nice over the top pass. Can they get it in? And it's Ravin Van Persie. Whew, and what a save from the keeper there, saving that one. And I've actually, the, the, the defender, as you can see, saving that one from going out too as well. And Barcelona look like they're trying to push up to try and go on a quick corner attack. Can they actually make it happen? And of course, Manchester United won it back. And it's Manchester United again on the ball. Van Persie on the ball. What is he going to do this time? Nice one in. Four and what a save there from Falcao. Nice attempt there on goal, of course. And the keeper made a really fantastic save. Manchester United again winning the ball. They seem to be winning all the second balls so far in midfield. And of course, you can see Daily Blind again on the ball. Losing out there, of course, to the Barcelona player there. And of course, guys, ah, too bad. Maybe not too much power in that one there. Nice attempt. Can he get to a Manchester United player? And that one again is cut out by, of course, the Barcelona defense. All right, what can they do here? Uh, awesome defending there from Manchester United. Definitely, definitely not allowing uh, Messi to try anything there. Spectacular. And of course, putting that one out for a corner kick. What can Barcelona do here? Nice cross in. And again, uh, and that one is just taken away. Shaw on the ball here. Can he make something happen? And it's Shaw again on the ball. A lot of pace there on Shaw. Can he get around the defense here? And of course, he's not able to. And that one is cleared out. Barcelona is back on the ball again. Manchester United want it back. And of course, that one is taken away from Falcao. And again, really scrappy game right now. Everyone is playing too quick of a ball. So the, the ball is all over the place. Neymar tried to play that one in, but of course, it's of course uh, pretty much well followed by a Manchester United defender. 
And that one is out again for another corner. What can Barcelona do again from this corner? Can they threaten Manchester United? And that one is clear out again. And that is going to be it for the first half, guys. Um, it's been a very competitive game so far in this first half from both teams, I must say. Manchester United seem to be doing very well with their formation. You would think it's more defensively, uh, defensive, but uh, they've actually been doing very well, especially in the counterattacks. All right, guys. So, as you can see, three shots for, of course, Manchester United. Three on target. It really should be two shots and two on target for Barcelona as well. I'm not quite sure why it's not showing any of that and showing, of course, zero. But nevertheless, you can see Manchester United are dominating, of course, position. That's because they've been holding the ball up pretty well. And especially they're trying to drag Barcelona out from midfield because they're very tight in midfield. Let's see if they can do any better in the second half. Barcelona again on the ball here. They gave it away. Nice one over the top here. Can he get in? Whew, and Falcao just couldn't get anything on that one. And, of course, great defending. Uh, it wouldn't matter either because he was offside. Unfortunate for Falcao. Manchester United on the ball again here. Uh, they're taking the time building up. Nice one over the top here. Can Falcao get to this one again? And he does. What can he do? He's going to cross this one in. Anyone there? No one there. And, of course, they're to clear that one out. No intent defending there from, of course, Barcelona. <laughs> Not taking any chances there. Uh, this is that much important to both teams. So not not surprised there. With the no intense defending. All right, what Manchester United waiting on? All right, under the Maria trying to cross this one in, and it's cut out as well. All right, so Barcelona is making those changes, taking off of course Luis Suarez, bringing on Pedro, and of course a like for like of course substitution. Uh, Pedro is really quick and pacey as well, so it should be interesting to see how Manchester United cope with him. When when he's going to be coming on for Manchester United and the hair, and of course Michael Carrick, uh, they will be taking off. Of course Fellaini and um, a few other players in midfield. Uh, and Di Murray will be coming off as well. Um, so it should be interesting to see how these new fresh legs come in, and of course how they dictate the game. Uh, they are definitely going to have to be defensive, but also be quick to go on the counter to try and of course catch Barcelona out. So let's see what happens. But nevertheless, Barcelona has a corner here. Let's see what happens. And it's straight to De Gea. <laughs> Pretty poor corner there from Barcelona. They really need to be taking up the opportunity uh, from wherever angle they can <laughs> whenever it comes. Uh, so that, that was a pretty poor one from them, actually. Chris Mon on the ball here. What is he doing? Right, it's going to switch to play here. Right, Manchester United taking their time on the ball, slowing it down a little bit, trying to dictate the play. Right, so Carrick on the ball, nice split, splitting pass there, but that one seems to be offside. Would have been an absolutely stunning pass there for Michael Carrick, especially after just coming on the field. That would have been absolutely outstanding. He's well known for that too as well, so it wouldn't be surprising there as well. That's what he brings to the Manchester United midfield. Right, Barcelona again at the ball here. And they're definitely moving forward with a lot of pace here, trying to get something going. Can they make something happen? Can they make some? Oh, and it's a save from David De Gea. And, of course, Manchester United get this one out. Now, Manchester United look like they're trying to go on a counter-attack. Wayne Rooney on the ball here. He's going to be pushing forward, waiting for his teammates to come forward, slowing the game down a little bit. Look at that. He's in yards of space. Will he go for it? And he does. And what an absolute cracker from Wayne Rooney. That has to be about 35 yards out from the opposite angle that... Falcao recently scored from against, of course, AC Roma. And what a stunner of a goal that is from, of course, Wayne Rooney. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Slowing the ball down in yards of space. You can see the two Barcelona players are dragging themselves. Not quite sure what they were doing. Dragging at this time in the game. Absolutely ridiculous. And, of course, that gave him the opportunity to line up a really beautiful one. And, of course, put it exactly where you wanted it to go. No chance for the defense there. Absolutely no chance for the keeper. Look at the height of the ball. Just dip right into, of course, the corner, right under the post. And, of course, guys, that has to be the best goal of the tournament so far. Absolutely stunning from, of course, Wayne Rooney. What a goal. Uh, it's another pass there from Carrick. His passes are so sublime. All right. Under Herrera, what a pass in for Falk. What an attempt there from Falcao and what a save from the keeper. Maybe too much power and height on that one. Maybe she kept it low. But nevertheless, good save from the keeper as well. Now it's Barcelona time to push forward again. 
What a play here. Can't, of course. Can they make something happen? And that is it, guys. That is it. It's a very, very tight game. Manchester United have been very dominant in this game. The same goes for Barcelona, but Manchester United seem to have just a little edge. Maybe they wanted it a little more. Not quite sure. I'm sure the traveling supporters will be absolutely ecstatic at the moment. Especially with the goal that won from, of course, Wayne Rooney after being substituted on. What a goal from Wayne Rooney. And what a time to get it as well. Alright guys, so as you can see, 4 shots for Manchester United, 4 on target, 56% of the ball. Barcelona had 3, 2 on target, and 44% of the ball. Uh, look at the pass accuracy as you can see there, 71% to Manchester United to 60%. For, of course, Barcelona. Shot accuracy 100% for Manchester United, 66% for Barcelona. Really tells, really the tale of the game to be so honest. But nevertheless, as you can see, Luke Shaw was one of the match. He was definitely defending very well up and down the wing. He played absolutely well. And uh, definitely give it to him as well. And Wayne Rooney coming in and of course getting that goal. Absolutely outstanding performance from the lad. Alright guys, so as you can see, look at this. Absolutely crazy. Both teams, as you can see, they're winning their game 1-0. I don't know what that means. It means that it's going to be a very difficult game. Because both teams seem to not be letting it go so far in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, and maybe even in the finals. Should be interesting. It's going to be, of course, Manchester United versus PSG in the final. Absolutely cracking game to come, so you definitely want to stay tuned. Alright guys, so thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, be sure to definitely leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And only if you enjoy the content. And of course guys, as always, I'm your host, Jiraiya FIFA. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And of course, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Definitely don't want to miss the final. It's going to be against PSG. Should be a very, very interesting one and entertaining. Thanks for watching. Peace.